Hi. Sal Yunea Lourdes, how are you today? I uh, hope you have peace and blessings. And, well, let's see. I sort of wanted to talk a little bit about the coronavirus, the pandemic that's all around the world. And cases keep popping up all over the place. Uh, and, you know, there's a, there, there, there's a shortage of, of, of masks and, and things uh, that, that needed hand sanitizer, all those different things going on. Okay, now I just uh, thought I'd share with you what I see as some practical things. Okay, for the everyday poor person, okay, we don't have money to run out and buy masks and all of this uh, stock up on hand sanitizer and stock up on uh, uh, Clorox, whatever. We don't have that. Okay, so I'm going to share with you some practical uh, uh, solutions to that problem. Uh, and I also want to let you know, of course, that uh, you can check with the CDC and uh, maybe the FDA and, and, and whatever. They all have a list. They have a list of things uh, that are uh, approved are not approved but that are effective in disinfecting uh, uh, surfaces and all of that okay they have a, an approved list of disinfectants which a lot of them are Clorox I think Lysol and they also had up there uh, uh, mm. hydrogen peroxide and they also have somewhere a uh, a recipe uh, for uh, hand sanitizer just in case you can't buy the hand sanitizer from the store okay now I have not looked at that recipe or anything uh, but you can if you need to now here's a practical uh, solution to the problem with masks for us everyday people okay for the for the general population we don't actually have to go out and buy masks okay if we can't afford it because if you have uh, a bandana okay uh, a scarf all right uh, if, if you go to Walmart if you go to Target if you go to the beauty supply you can usually find bandana bandanas and they have them in different colors and stuff like that okay so anyway here I have a scarf right I have a scarf and if I really feel like I need a mask okay I'm gonna fold this scarf and I'm gonna tie it in the back see what I'm saying okay or you can fold it this way okay fold it again uh, can you have your mask okay or you can take a regular piece of cloth uh, you know old t-shirt and and you can even cut it down okay ideally it would be sort of cut down a little bit you know maybe it doesn't have to be this long okay but you can cut it down to a more comfortable fit uh, you can take a rubber band right wrap it around the edges I don't have a rubber band but you can wrap it around here right on the two ends right and then guess what you put it on and you can put the rubber band part around your ear voila you have a mask <laughs> Now, let's see, what else, what else? Now, as far as uh, disinfecting, uh, things like that. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you a little, uh, it's not really a secret, but a suggestion. Okay, now, uh, they have approved, uh, they say that uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide is a good thing to use if you don't have the bleach products okay but 
what I didn't see on their list that I feel is useful would be number one, Listerine. Okay, Listerine. Okay, now it kills 99 point something stuff of germs. Okay, it, it's an antibacterial, antifungal, uh, bacterial, fungal, and an anti something else, right? Uh, and so what I have done in the past, or what I do, uh, even in cosmetology, what I have done is I have used one part water with one part, uh, one part Listerine, okay? And you can spray surfaces with that as well, and that will help uh, in disinfecting. I mean, you can use it full strength if you want, okay? And uh, sometimes the, the smell of Clorox can be a little overwhelming if you're using it a lot and you're doing everything. It can be overwhelming. And so this is an alternative, okay? And another thing that is great is, I don't want to give any, let me see. I'm not promoting any brands here, but, but white vinegar, white vinegar. And actually the vinegar doesn't have to be white. Okay. Now the thing about vinegar is the acetic, not acidic, the acetic acid in vinegar, uh, it changes the structure. It, 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 it's a neutralizer, it neutralizes, and, and the acetic acid will change the structure, let's say, of the germ of the virus or whatever. But I'm not saying it's 100%, I'm just saying that that may also be an alternative, okay? So, uh, and then also with that, I would mix that one part water with one part vinegar, or, you, you know, you can put a little more vinegar and a little less water, okay? And what I've also, what I also do is I use a, this is just a spray bottle, and uh, I've mixed it with soap, water, and vinegar, okay? And, you know, this might be useful if you don't have the hand sanitizer, or Listerine and water, one part, one part, okay? And, and it's very simple. What you do is you, you spray, okay? And that's it, okay? You've sanitized your hands, okay? And the thing about these products is they're not going to dry out your skin like, uh, they're not going to dry out your skin like the hand sanitizer. So if you're using hand sanitizer, you also still want to be careful. You want to make sure you uh, moisturize your hands, use some type of uh, sealant, something that acts more of, uh, like a sealant. Because by using the hand sanitizer a lot, if it, it can break down the skin and cause it to dry and and then it breaks it down and a virus can easily slip in uh, through that microscopic uh, 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 thing in your skin that you can't even see okay so those are just some things now I'm going to go to my next video where I'm going to talk to uh, I want to talk to cosmetologists barbers and cosmetologists i want to talk to you okay so check out my next video